sports car to get into the semi so we have a little bit more access and a little bit more room with the Kodiak. It's really nice and you get a little bit of a discount on diesel. We are just pulling up to Overland Expo. We're gonna get checked in and try to find a campsite. We are meeting up with Matt again. That's the gray twin Kodiak that we met here a couple years ago when we were in our F-250 and our rooftop tent camper. So let's go get checked in. Go straight down the security guard with the orange flag. Point you in either direction. Please just follow her or just follow straight. Where the this security guard is going to point you. All right, cool. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. We found ourselves some special big rig parking over here. Yep. And we're going to save a spot for a mat so he can pull up right next to us. Let's get the lay of the land here. You to watch here yeah. and here. And we need to try to be level. Check out this sweet rig that just pulled up. It's gonna be a fun weekend. A few clips of us setting up. Matt's just pulling in. You guys remember, he is the inspiration to our channel. He's the reason why we have the Desert Yeti. He brought his side-by-side -side with him. We're in the section with all the big rigs so far. So pumped. So Matt brings his stepdaughter and she and her friend are gonna be sleeping in this rooftop tent right here. Obviously him and his wife are gonna be sleeping in the camper. But check this thing out. It's got Yokohama yeah. mud terrain but trailer tires. This is he obviously so takes this off grid. All it needs is some suspension. All right, you guys heard me mention in our previous video that we had a new partner to the channel. I wanna give a big shout out to Moonfab. They sent us the original Moonshade. So let's get this unboxed and get it thrown on the camper. Moonshade offers some instructional videos online, so we're gonna check those out before we go ahead and install it. So it looks like the first step is to attach the suction cup anchors. So we're gonna use the suction cups on the side of the camper. So I think you just come up here. We're gonna just do it on this door, pull it tight, and then we're gonna come to this side. Not exactly sure how wide the moonshade is, but Easy to adjust. Might as well just clip it on there and then adjust as needed. Yeah, we're gonna try to get it the same height. <laughs> Alright, we got both suction cups up. Moonshade has these built-in carabiners. So we're gonna go ahead and get this right side locked on there. Alright, we got that side up. We can adjust it a little tighter. Get both anchors in place and the shade tops here to the suction cups. All right, so we got one of the ends of the strut poles up in the corner. We have kind of like a tent. It's got these clasps on it. I think we need to grab a couple poles. By the your chuck. Okay, let me go back to the video. Get the rest of our instructions. Using the center clips, like this. Open the support poles and put the end. That comes up here and goes into that same carabiner. That's actually a really good design idea. All right, guys, we got the moonshade all set up for the first time. We got the anchors put in, keep it from flying away in the wind. Set it up really easy. If you guys want to pick these up, you can get $30 off. Go to moonfab.com. I'll link the website down in the description below. Enter code Jensen Adventures for $30 off. So one of the main things that we love about camping at the Overland Expo is the amount of people that you meet the rigs that you see, all the configurations that people have for things like power or solar or awnings, like we have our new moonshade. 
Um, so this guy just came over and saw our solar panels from Blue Eddy and just kind of came over to our camp and said like, hey, like, mind showing me what you got over here? And it's pretty cool because it's not just about finding stuff in the expo, it's about finding stuff at camps around you with similar setups maybe that you like and just kind of getting to know people and knowing their setup and seeing if it works for you too. I'll definitely be walking around camp to show you guys around, but looks like we got in the big rig section. Looks like we got a Unimog over there. It's still Thursday, first day, so I'm sure all this is gonna fill in with people. You guys saw in our video from Overland Expo last year, we kind of did a walk around of this. Maybe I'll do another quick walk around before the end of the weekend, but this is gonna be on our list of things to get, this move bumper with a winch so we can self recover ourselves if we ever get stuck. Matt's rig is an 08 LMM, six speed Allison, just like ours. It's actually a 5500 short wheelbase. He obviously wrapped it the matte gray and has the black boxes on the back. Has a different style of Stazworks wheel, same tires. This was the rig that inspired us to build ours. All right, someone needs a helping hand. That's one great thing about the Overland Expo. You just walk to the camp next to you and you say, hey, I need some help. Oh, this is men in, their, men in their sketchy ways. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, you want to probably be able to fix it from up top. Cool. Yeah, this in your 10 minutes. It's perfect. Some really cool rigs out here this year. Check this one out. I feel like the best rigs are going to be camps because we're seeing a lot of cool new stuff this year. I had to run back to the camper just to check on everything and make sure our awning wasn't gonna fly, fly away, but I just barely got back here and it started hailing. It is Friday at about 11.30. There's a bunch of people still pulling in, but we were in the expo. I had to run back to the camper. I've been hanging out here. There was hail and not stopped raining for about 30 or 45 minutes. So hopefully it lets up and I can get back to Tiffany at the expo. So Friday, officially day one of the Overland Expo. We got to go and walk around for the first few hours this morning, however, a little bit of a rainstorm came our way, so we had to take cover and then head back to the trucks. But we're not upset about it. We're just hanging out in here, enjoying our time, relaxing, enjoying being up north, being in the cool weather. And now we're getting ready to make some dinner. What's up guys, it is Saturday morning here at the Overland Expo. We didn't get to walk around too much yesterday as it was raining and hailing most of the day. We were stuck in the camper, but let's go in the Expo and check it out. Extra feature to it as well, but look, he put little J for Jensen on it. 
Yeah, if you guys want to follow him, it's the Lost Sasquatch on Instagram. He was actually on Forged in Fire season like eight or something. He forges knives. He has some really cool Damascus stuff, really belt good buckles, a lot of cool stuff. All right, guys, me and Tiffany have been talking about getting a little adventure bike that can fit in the horse trailer in the second stall. And I think we've de decided on a little 125cc Honda Grom with some knobbies on it. These are normally a street bike. They're nice and small. They're street legal and uh, they're 125 cc so they have some power. $3,500 brand new. That's not that bad. And a clutch. You have to shift it. I don't want to all fall on the ground here, but we got a little ET, pineapple ET guy. We got this Liberty or Death. We got Average Joe's Gymnasium from Dodgeball, a California Republic, and then with every $10, you get it to spin the wheel, and we got this little Space Force one. Got ourselves some Indian fried bread. No, so I the yep, it's our favorite. We get it every year. Bomb. All right, guys, here's the 2023 version of a Kodiak. This is a Chevy 6500. We actually want to go with these Shieldman seats in the front and move our seats that we did into the back. These are super nice and super comfortable. We are actually talking about doing a white Rhino liner on our rig as well, camper, truck, and boxes, just to give it that rugged look and protect the paint, as well as sealing up the camper from any water damage. Let's check out the inside real quick. Really plush and luxury. Nice big walk-in shower. Looks like a queen-size bed. Big pass-through storage. Really cool outdoor kitchen, pelican case, spare tire, traction boards. So this actually has the 365 8020s on it. We have the 335 8020s, which is like a 41 and a half. These are about a 43, a little bit bigger. I really love the color of this thing, but $1.1 million. I think that's a little out of our budget. So I don't know if you guys follow Drive the Globe on YouTube or on Instagram or any social media. Super cool channel, go check him out. He travels the whole world in this thing. This is actually a four-door Kodiak 5500 four-wheel drive. Similar to ours, has the Continental tires. Oh. This is the Sherpa winch that I was looking at, 17 and a half thousand pound capacity. This is the one we're probably gonna order with our move bumper. Right, guys that's gonna wrap up overland expo west 2023 we are all packed up and getting ready to head back down the mountain to gilbert thanks so much for being here and following along we really appreciate it hit that like button if you want to show us some support subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next video later guys